She's the better half of the cake boss, but this Italian mama's no slouch. She hosts shows, she cooks up a storm, she has a thing for mini trampolines. Keep watching for the sweet story on Lisa Velastro. Lisa is a first-generation Italian-American, and her immigrant parents were serious about raising her right. Even when she went to the movies on the weekends with friends, she recalled on her podcast, What's Up Cuz? My mom and dad were so strict with me. I had to be home by 9 p.m., but the kicker is, while I was in the movie, I had to get out every hour to go to the payphone to call my mom and check in. Admitting that her parents were just doing their best, Lisa, who became a mom of four, is a little more relaxed when it comes to her own kids, and she says she was more than comfortable with her teenage kids, Sophia and Buddy Jr., dating and going to parties as long as they were back by midnight. Since we've got baking on the brain with the Velastro gang, it turns out Lisa's mom, Gloria, is a professional baker herself. And her shop, Gloria's Amazing Cookies, offers everything from fresh-baked chocolate biscotti to apricot, strawberry, or Nutella pie. For the record, all of it sounds amazing. Honoring tried-and-true recipes that have been passed down through generations, Lisa posted to Insta in 2020. My mom launched her very own cookie business, something that she always dreamed of. These are the cookies we grew up eating, and now my kids are also making and enjoying them. Gloria also introduced a new tradition at Carlo's Bakery. As Buddy wrote in his book, Cake Boss, after seeing Gloria crank out tomato sauce once a year, he decided to do the same at the bakery. It worked so well, they made it an official annual event. Buddy and Lisa have known each other since they were kids. Having first gotten acquainted as family friends, it was when Buddy's relatives visited from Italy that things got serious. She was 19 and he was 22, and the rest is history. Yeah, maybe by the second or third date, I definitely know. But Buddy was just a regular old baker back then, with no clue about the fame that awaited him. He had even dropped out of high school to manage the bakery when his dad passed away. And Lisa would bring him food and hang out, watching him work late into the night. They finally got married in October 2001, but when Cake Boss launched in 2009, their lives changed forever. While Lisa admits that the fame thing can be stressful, she says she wouldn't change it for the world. For Lisa, the constant presence of a camera crew at Carlo's Bakery took some getting used to, as she admitted on What's Up Cuz, I was never on camera before, I was never in the TV business, I didn't know what to expect. All of a sudden, you wake up one day and there are 15 camera people and sound people listening and looking at every single move you make. Now, with Cake Boss going strong for over a decade, the crew has become like family, she said. I have even let them into my delivery room. You've got to feel real comfortable to do that. Is that adorable or what? The couple's youngest child, Carlo's birth, was even filmed for the show. With the stipulation that there would only be cameras shooting from behind her head, Lisa said that after three kids, she knew what to expect, with the delivery as well as the production crew. With four kids in the house, a hungry hubby, and a large extended family, life can be pretty chaotic for the Velastros. But Lisa runs a pretty tight ship when it comes to family meals. So at the start of the week, she shops for everything she needs. I always have to be one step ahead and be prepared because I never know who's showing up at the house. Sunday at the Velastros is synonymous with sauce, and Lisa cooks up a fresh recipe with six pounds of Jersey plum tomatoes and meatballs or pasta. Explaining that her mom taught her how to make the best sauce she shared on Lisa's home cooking. We did it so many times that it's such safe in nature to us right now. But when it comes to big holidays like Christmas, Lisa's got a whole different game plan. With a three-day head start, she shops for groceries and assembles the lasagna, and one day before, she cooks the veggies. So for Christmas family dinner, all she has to do is heat the food and get ready to party. My wife, she may seem like a pretty face, but my wife could cook. Okay? She put together this huge spread, which makes me so happy. Of course, we're not comparing her skills to Buddy, who once made a 1,000-pound alligator cake. But Lisa's also got a few tricks up her sleeve when it comes to sugary confections, and she happily lends her skills to her hubby's birthday cakes. When we go into a cake like this, there is zero plan. There is no plan. My only goal at the end is that the cake is standing. In 2018, she made a four-tiered cake covered with Reese's, writing on Instagram. It's a tradition for me and the kids to make Dad his birthday cake every year. It usually falls over before he even gets home, but for a few minutes, it looks pretty great. No better way to say I love you than making a cake. 
In 2019, it was a massive three-tiered cake loaded with cookies and mini donuts. 2020 definitely had Froot Loops involved. In 2021, it was all about the Reese's peanut butter cups. And in 2022, it was three tiers of Buddy's favorite snacks as a kid. But that passion for baking clearly runs in the family. Hope style baby. We're the Velastros. We're here to bake. Daughter Sophia once whipped up tie-dye ice cream cone cupcakes and cake pops for fans, and she and Carlo put together a rainbow tie-dye sprinkle cake that looked like it would be right at home on her dad's bakery shelf. And Buddy Jr.'s M&M chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich making chops look pro-level already. While Cake Boss already offers a peek into the personal lives of the Velastro fam, Lisa's podcast What's Up Cuz takes it up a notch. Co-hosted with her cousin and comedian Erica Spera, it covers the stuff that happens when the cameras are off. And it gets personal, as she shared. Before Cake Boss started, I never really pinpointed all the imperfections in my body, until unfortunately social media started pinpointing it out for me. My heart's like going 100 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> Unfortunately for Lisa, the public scrutiny even kept her from posting on Instagram on occasion, leaving her more than 700,000 followers hoping for more. But Lisa forges ahead, sharing fun and personal details about her family in her down-to-earth style. I think the final touch is a little bit of mustard. While Buddy has whipped up mouth-watering showstopper cakes for decades, when it comes to cooking at home, Lisa's the boss. She even launched her own show, Lisa's Home Cooking, on Buddy's official YouTube channel, Cake House. Early episodes in 2018 featured popular Italian dishes like bruschetta, egg balls, spaghetti, and pasta cacio e pepe. And the show was up and running until 2019. Shot in her home kitchen in New Jersey and at the family house on the Jersey Shore, Lisa revealed some trivia about herself. For example, her favorite veggie is zucchini and her number one kitchen tool is a garlic press. She said, This tool travels with me everywhere. If I have to cook somewhere, this always goes in my pocketbook. My favorite thing in this kitchen, don't laugh. A tool, utensil? It's my garlic press. She even featured some of her kids' favorites on the show. Mashed sweet potatoes with marshmallows and sugar and a simple pasta and broccoli one-pot meal. Lisa shared a before and after in August 2019 that had fans wondering how the wife of the cake boss got so fit. While it looks like she's not giving up all the garlic bread, her secret is her mini trampoline. And even her daughter Sophia is into it. She wrote, I recently started working out at Perspirology in Seabright, New Jersey, taking the bounce classes. I have to say I am so happy with my results. The instructors show you proper technique and form, and it's so much fun on a trampoline. I've never had so many people tell me how fit and toned I look. I've worked out my entire adult life, but never seen results like this. She's committed to a one-hour workout session every morning, and she even has a mini trampoline set up at her home, adding, Not only is it a great workout, it is a complete stress relief. Buddy, who has often blamed his fluffy love handles on his wife's delicious cooking, also shed a significant amount of weight in 2018, crediting the Optavia program for his transformation. While the protein-based meals may have had him looking fitter than ever, we know his wife's famous eggplant or chicken parm will always be number one in his heart. Look at all this cheesy goodness. Cake Boss turned Lisa into a bona fide reality TV star, and along with the popularity came invitations to appear on a bunch of other shows. One of them was the competition series Dancing Brazil in 2017. Having nailed the cha-cha from top to bottom, Lisa wrote in an Instagram post, Signing on to Dancing Brazil was hard for me because it meant being away from my children, and I was so worried to leave them for the first time, but everyone told me to take the chance, and I'm so happy I did. You cooked? I'm gonna feed you. How's that? Lisa and Buddy have also made appearances together, including The Chew in 2018, where Lisa made linguine with clams and lobster. And then they did Rachel Ray, where the pair cooked up some chicken saltimbocca. Lisa also stopped by Hallmark Channel's Home and Family to cook up meatless meatballs. And she landed on Say Yes to the Dress with Buddy's sisters to find her ultimate bridal gown for her vow renewal. What do a NASCAR race car Betty White and Lisa Velastro all have in common? Buddy made life-sized replicas of all three of them. But when it came to carefully crafting Lisa's tasty selfie, it was all part of a surprise party for her 30th birthday. Buddy explained on the chew that it was the first life-sized cake he ever made. Well, he finally did it. On the show, he unveiled the creation after positively gushing over his amazing wife in a tribute for her special day. But of course, the cake wasn't an exact replica. Lisa laughed about it later, admitting on the chew. Doesn't really look like me, but it was a thought that counts. <laughs> that was
was because Buddy had to be sly about approximating Lisa's measurements. She recalled, The week he was making that cake, he would come up to me and hug me a certain way and feel me. I'm like, what are you doing? In 2018, Buddy threw another surprise party for Lisa with a designer bag and heels cake, which Lisa admits are her greatest weaknesses. You can't go wrong with a bunch of accessories covered in fondant and packed with flavor. In September 2020, tragedy struck the Velastro household. Buddy's hand was impaled by a bowling pin setting machine in his home, inflicting severe nerve damage, and for several precarious days, the family wondered if Buddy would lose his entire career and everything he had worked for. I'm so scared right now. This is my dominant hand. This is my piping hand. The whole event was portrayed in a Discovery special, Road to Recovery, where fans witnessed almost every terrifying moment. After seeing Buddy's hand for the first time, Lisa recounted on her podcast, I was a surgical tech back in my day, so it's not like I can say I didn't see gory stuff in the operating room. But what went through my mind at that first instance was the pain that my husband must have been in. Lisa kept it together for her family and busied herself with planning the best possible care for her husband. As she remembered, If I start acting crazy, who is going to be there for my husband and kids? Fast forward to 2022 and Buddy has almost fully recovered, and he has his family to thank for their rock-solid support. He shared with People, My wife has been amazing. She's been a trooper. After you have an injury like this and your wife helps you dry you out of the shower, that crosses another level. You get to really know each other and love each other and be there for one another. It looks like Buddy hasn't been the only one laser-focused on his health and well-being. In 2021, Lisa underwent a hysterectomy after suffering repeated bouts of pain due to a cyst. She claimed that ovarian cancer runs in her family and that her grandmother died of it at age 49. Though the surgery went well, Lisa explained on an episode of What's Up Cuz that she was still experiencing severe night sweats. If someone told you you have a chance of getting cancer, what would you do? She later shared with fans that she had also been diagnosed with non-cancerous breast tumors, and she was forced to choose between getting a mastectomy or essentially agreeing to a life of regular biopsies. But it appears that this is something Lisa had dealt with ever since she was 19 and found a lump. Since then, she has had to go for regular mammograms and ultrasounds to keep a watchful eye on her body. As she described on her podcast, if you are looking at a beautiful, clear night sky and you are seeing thousands of millions of stars out there, that's what my breast looks like. A bunch of white spots on MRI. It didn't matter that the Vlastros had a watchdog or a top-notch security system installed in their 7,000-square-foot home. Burglars still found a way onto the property. According to NewJersey.com in early 2021, a couple of kids made their way into the porch, walked around the house, and peeked in through the windows. Lisa later saw the intruders sneaking around via security cameras and shared on her podcast that she felt violated. The family was gone from the home at the time, but Lisa also found it in her heart to have a little sympathy for the offenders. She said on her podcast, They looked young, probably, you know, unfortunately had a rough upbringing, a rough life, and you have to feel bad for kids like these. I could just hope and pray that they get the help they need. Since the attempted robbery, Lisa says the house, which previously had as many as 24 security and surveillance cameras, has been seriously upgraded. Keeping up with the pandemic trend of welcoming a new pet into the home, the Velastro gang added a new member in 2020, a sweet German shepherd named Duke. This was a big milestone for Lisa, who had never lived with a big dog before. Is there dog food in this cake? No, maybe. Actually, yeah, there is. Come here, I have a little cake. Loyal Cake Boss fans already know and love the family's other dogs, two very tiny Yorkies, Bella and Bocce, who could fit into the palm of your hand. As Lisa shared on her podcast, she was reluctant to go full hog on a big family dog, but she changed her mind for a nostalgic reason. As the story goes, when he was a kid, Buddy had a German Shepherd named Duke growing up. And as Lisa explained on her show, my husband always talked about his dog Duke, about how loyal he was, about how he loved him. So when my dad used to come home, Duke used to actually lick his shoes. But he went a little further than just talking about his favorite family dog. In a March 2020 Facebook post, Buddy posted a few shots of their soon-to-be family member, writing, trying to convince Lisa to let me get another dog. Three's company. But apparently Lisa doesn't need much convincing when it comes to her family. As she explained, when someone says they want something, I try to do my best to make my husband and kids happy. So I went along with it and we got a German Shepherd. 
Duke is professionally trained and is even mostly taken care of by the Velastro kids. And while Duke is a ball of cuddles and fun with the family, Lisa knows he would be all business if he had to. She said, We are living in a crazy world and you can never be more protective of your family. According to a survey conducted by BuzzFeed News, 23% of Americans hate it when a strong whiff of weed follows them along on a leisurely evening stroll. And so does Lisa Velastro. On her podcast, she recounted her extreme discomfort caused by the pot smell on the streets of Las Vegas, where she vacationed with her family, including her 10-year-old son, Carlo. While reiterating that she's not against people smoking weed, she also expressed her concern for anyone who hates the smell, or worse, gets a headache from it. Suggesting that there be designated smoking areas, she said, I can't imagine what my poor little Carlo was feeling. It's not fair that you are invading my airspace. But it's not just the smell of marijuana that has Lisa vexed, it's also the recent rules around it. She referenced a 2021 bill signed by New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, which makes it unlawful for cops to notify the parents of children under 17 years if they are caught in possession of booze or weed. While the bill was a step towards ensuring that juveniles are not unfairly targeted by the cops, for Lisa, the news felt like an assault on her rights as a parent to know what her kids are up to. When their daughter Sophia turned 18, Lisa took a little time to come to terms with the fact that her daughter had become a legal adult. On Sophia's actual birthday, Lisa got a letter from the pediatrician stating that she no longer had access to Sophia's information. Claiming it felt like a slap in the face, she said on her podcast, It's crazy, I did not expect that. She was also shocked to learn that once Sophia went to college, if there was an emergency, the doctors were not obligated to call the parents unless Sophia gave them permission. Meanwhile, Lisa also has concerns over the sports her sons are into, specifically lacrosse. She said, I see how my son gets injured and the bruises he comes home with and the slashes on the neck, and I am emotionally invested in this game. Standing by as her sons get hit by fellow players and also the highly physical nature of the game has her worrying about the kids' safety. She also wonders why only football games have an ambulance on standby and not lacrosse games as well. Sounds like this mama bear will do anything for her family, and that's why we can't get enough of Lisa and the Velastro gang. We are a very close-knit family. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite food TV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.